Hi, this is Tony with Culinary Seasons, and we're gonna make a 48 to 72 hour cold fermented pizza dough. We're gonna start in the bowl with uh, 525 grams of flour, about three and a half cups. Uh, we're gonna add to that a quarter teaspoon of yeast and one and a half teaspoon of salt. In a lot of cases with baking, you wouldn't add the yeast directly into the flour, you'd add it to the water. But because it's going to be a fermented dough, It'll work just fine in there. Right in that quarter teaspoon of yeast, dry yeast. And then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And we're just gonna mix that together here. And then we have 325 grams of water. It's weighed out. Uh, weigh out the water, just like you'd weigh out the flour. And then we're gonna just pour in a little bit at a time, mix it in here with the spatula. And you just wanna get it to just incorporate and we're gonna turn it out onto the board and mix it together. Don't really want to knead it too much. Just wanna just get it incorporated. So I'm add some more water in there. And one of the reasons we wanna knead it a little bit on the board is just to get that flour incorporated. We have that last bit of water. So you can see it's coming together. It's coming together. We get some flour on the board and then we're going to knead it a little bit and bring it together. The dough at this point is pretty, pretty wet. It's not super sticky at this point. Um, it will be once we get it out here on the board and start folding it, the flour and the water that's in there um, will come together a little bit more. And I'm gonna use a, a bench knife just to kind of fold it on itself, get, get those parts incorporated together. I'm gonna go ahead and start kneading some by hand just for a minute or two, just to get it to come together a little bit. to it but we because we're doing that cold ferment you don't want to need it too much you just want to get it to incorporate kind of together like that and then we're going to have a container here with some olive oil in it you can use a bowl if you need to yeah, just uh, getting the edges coated with some oil so it doesn't stick container. we're just going to pop that in the container and just let it sit out at room temperature for 24 hours cover a container with a cover or plastic wrap Keep on kitchen counter for 24 hours, then refrigerate for 48 hours. After 48 hours in the refrigerator, remove the dough from the container onto a floured surface. Form the dough into a ball by pulling the dough from the top to the bottom, pinching the dough at the bottom and forming it on the board. Cut the dough into four equal pieces. Form each of the pieces into a ball. Do this by pulling the dough from the top down to the bottom and pinching it together as you turn the dough. Once you get it into a ball shape, pinch the dough to bring it together. Repeat the process with each of the pieces of dough. Once again, pulling it from the top down to the bottom, pinching it in the bottom and forming it on the board. Place the dough balls on a floured sheet pan and rest in the refrigerator for a few hours. Three hours before making pizzas, let the dough sit out at room temperature. To form the pizza dough, flatten the dough into a disc with your palm and fingers, forming the crust as you turn it. Using your fingertips, pull from the middle towards the outside, stretching the dough as you turn it. You can use the cutting board to pull the dough with the palms of your hands down. Once you've formed it into a round, pick up the dough and pull it from the inside towards the edges once again to stretch the dough to the desired size. Careful not to rip the dough as it gets thinner. The pizza dough is ready for your favorite toppings.